Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. Stalin's Monkey Men Secret documents from the 1920s have been released that apparently show evidence that Joseph Stalin assembled a team of Planet of the Apes-style warriors that were allegedly a cross between apes and humans. He wanted to create an elite army of soldiers that would be half ape, half human. Stalin ordered the top animal breeding scientist in all of Russia, Ilya Ivanov, to stop breeding horses and start breeding super warriors. The soldiers had to be unresponsive to pain, able to eat absolutely anything, and fight to the very brink of death in order to meet his agenda. The orders were passed down to create a living war machine at a time when Russian society was rapidly advancing. Ivanov was on board because he wanted to create the hybrid ape army as an attempt to discredit creationists. Remember, the communists were very anti-religion. Ivanov was given a budget of $200,000 in order to try and impregnate chimpanzees with human sperm. The experiments were supposedly carried out in 1926 at the Pasteur Institute in Conakry, Guinea, which was top secret at the time. Ivanov artificially inseminated three chimpanzees. However, as you can probably guess, it didn't turn out the way Stalin had hoped. Instead of getting a Tarzan-type warrior man, one of the monkeys died, and the rest didn't give birth to anything. The experiment failed, and he decided to try and inseminate a Russian woman with ape sperm instead, which was also unsuccessful. When the donor monkey Tarzan passed away, the whole experiment was called off. In the end, no superior monkey men were born, and Stalin had to put a stop to his demented plans. Number 9. Project Stargate Project Stargate was the code name for a series of human experiments conducted by the CIA in the 1970s. At the time, they believed that the Soviet Union was spending millions of dollars researching ESP and other supernatural human abilities. They explored the use of telepathy, reading someone's thoughts, and remote viewing, which allows a person to view a time or place without being there in person. We still don't know for sure if the Soviet Union was trying to figure out how to control human minds, but the CIA definitely wanted to get ahead of them if they were. The competition between the two countries was at an all-time high, and they both sought to outdo the other. After all, America's competitive attitude was how we got to the moon before anyone else. The CIA began their experiments in 1972, when they funded a program known as Scanate, which focused on the research of mind control. They started testing remote viewing at the Stanford Research Institute in California that same year. Those involved were renowned physicists, Russell Targ and Harold Puthoff. The two men chose gifted individuals, people claiming to be psychics, and started putting them to the test. One of these individuals was celebrity psychic Yuri Geller, who was known for his ability to bend spoons with his mind. According to CIA documents, Geller was locked in a room for eight days in August of 1973, where multiple experiments were conducted on him. The testing proved to be a success, and they concluded that he had adequately proved his paranormal perceptual ability in a convincing and ambiguous manner. The project then caught the eye of the U.S. Department of Defense, and Ray Hyman, a psychology professor for the University of Oregon, was called in to evaluate Geller. He found the man to be a fraud and said that he could see inconsistencies and loopholes in the acts Geller could perform. Nonetheless, Congress continued to fund the research. The project continued until 1984, and one of the last missions they completed involved a remote viewing of Mars. Joseph McMoneagle, an Army veteran, was recruited, and he reported seeing very large, thin people wearing some kind of strange clothes obelisks, and pyramids. Although Project Stargate was somewhat successful, by 1995 the program went into a quick decline when the CIA reported that remote viewing shouldn't be used operationally. Ultimately, the whole thing was shut down. However, psychics around the world continue to practice the techniques used in these missions. Number 8. Project Lucifer October 15, 1997 was a big day for science. The Cassini-Huygens mission took off from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station with one purpose, to explore Saturn and its moons. 
The tiny exploration vehicle was powered by 72 pounds of plutonium fuel, which was supposedly needed because anything beyond Mars cannot be powered using solar panels. It's just too far away from the sun. There is a pretty crazy conspiracy theory that says plutonium is actually used for something else. None of this is verified by any legitimate government source, but there are rumors that have been circulating for years. It all has to do with something called Project Lucifer. The project was dreamed up by NASA in association with secretive global organizations like the Illuminati and the Freemasons. They are hoping to use plutonium to set off a bomb on the surface of Saturn. The idea is that the atmospheric pressure on Saturn will be so immense that when the probe breaches it, the plutonium will condense and detonate like a nuclear bomb. The hope is that this explosion will create a chain reaction, turning Saturn into the biggest bomb in the universe. It will create a nuclear fusion, and Saturn will turn into its very own star. It would be kind of like a secondary sun. This would be chaos for the Earth, as it would kill billions of people from the increase of radiation. However, Saturn's moon, Titan, would remarkably be in the perfect position to suddenly become habitable with its close proximity to Saturn. Those in power, who know the Earth is dying, would then flee to Saturn on their spaceships. It's a pretty wacky idea, but some people are convinced. They believe the government is working with the Illuminati to make an escape plan off of Earth before the planet starts dying. Number 7. The Report from Iron Mountain The Report from Iron Mountain was a book published in 1967 by Dial Press. The contents of the book were supposedly written by a group of 15 men who kept their identities secret and still remain anonymous to this very day. It was never intended to be released to the public, however, it became a New York Times bestseller. The book has been translated into 15 languages, and nobody has any idea if it's real or a hoax. The issue is that the book apparently details very real conversations in which elite government officials discuss methods for remaining in power. The men who wrote the book were allegedly part of a special study group which was assembled in 1963 to examine what might happen if the United States of America went into a long period of peace. In other words, if the US didn't get involved in a war for an extended amount of time. They met inside Iron Mountain, a secret underground nuclear bunker, and they worked out the details there. The group concluded that peace was not in the best interest of a stable economy for America. They also decided that if lasting peace could be achieved, it would come as a detriment to society. War was necessary in order to fuel the economy, to divert collective aggression, and keep the government in control. Their recommendation was to create some kind of war substitute that could still spin the economy while diverting the attention of the masses from the gross pollution of the environment. Distraction was necessary, and the bigger and bloodier the better. To this day, Nobody is sure if the book was just a thought experiment or if it really was written by a group of secret government scientists. Number 6. The SR-72 Dark Star The SR-71 Blackbird was developed by Lockheed Martin during the Cold War as one of the most technologically advanced machines on the planet. It set both speed and altitude records that lasted for decades and to this day still has insane capabilities. The stealth spy plane is built from mysterious exotic alloys and looks a lot like a spaceship. The SR-71 has a successor, the intensely secret SR-72 Dark Star. This is a hypersonic jet that can provide unparalleled air reconnaissance for the United States Air Force, although we won't see it in action probably for another decade or two. It was proposed in secret in 2013 and it hasn't actually been fully developed yet. We're expecting a test flight by no later than 2023. However, it is possible that the vehicle could already have taken to the skies without public knowledge. The spy plane should be able to reach a top speed of over Mach 6, and it has a cooling system embedded inside of its engine that will be able to fire hypersonic missiles. This thing will be able to move over six times the speed of sound while firing missiles that move even faster and it could be the absolute most advanced war machine the world has ever seen. Number 5. Hangar 18 
Hangar 18 is a secret government facility even more mysterious than Area 51. Its official name is the Wright-Patterson Air Force Base, and nobody except a few high-security government officials and the workers at the base know what's going on. It can be found just outside Dayton, Ohio, and is swarmed in rumor and speculation. Hangar 18 is only one building on the larger base. It's in this hangar where people believe the government is hiding physical evidence of UFOs. They not only think that the debris from a spaceship is there, but also the possible corpses of the aliens that had originally piloted the craft. The extraterrestrial bodies could very well be hidden inside of an extremely secure part of the hangar called the Blue Room. Of course, we don't know for sure if this secret military facility really is holding aliens. Material obtained from the world-famous Roswell, New Mexico crash in July of 1947 is said to be held here. This was confirmed by Oliver Henderson, a former military pilot, when he claimed to have flown a plane loaded with debris along with several small alien bodies to the base. The government has denied any kind of UFO knowledge, but people still remain skeptical and hope remains that there are other beings out there. Number 4. Russian Laser Beams In 2011, Russia supposedly began working on a secret weapon codenamed Kalina, and for the past decade, they have been working on the weapon non-stop and revealing very few details about it. It's believed to be an anti-satellite weapon, something that can take out satellites like a BB gun can take out grasshoppers. Now here's where things get interesting. Recent images captured on Google Earth allegedly show the construction of this powerful Russian weapon. It was discovered in the open at Russia's Ministry of Defense's Krona Space Surveillance Complex. It's from here where Russia uses a system that provides targeting data to all their satellite systems. It's been around since the 1970s, although it didn't become fully operational until the 2000s. Documents appeared in 2014 suggesting Kalina was a weapon to functionally suppress electrical systems using lasers. And in 2017, more documents appeared describing Kalina as a space security weapon. Putting all these clues together, it does appear that Russia is working on some kind of ultra-powerful laser beam that can take down assets in space. It's hard to say exactly what the plans are for this weapon since there is still such little evidence. However, it is completely possible that it may be utilized by Russia in the near or distant future. Number 3. The Secrets of FEMA Harry Truman began the Federal Civil Defense Administration in the year 1950. Their initial task was to prepare the country against the threat of a nuclear attack. They were essentially emergency management, and they were the ones who began to set up nuclear bunkers across the country, hoarding supplies and stockpiling goods in case of an apocalypse. As the years went by, it became pretty clear there weren't going to be any nuclear missiles landing in the United States, and so the FCDA turned into the Federal Emergency Management Agency, or FEMA, in 1979. They were often tasked with responding to natural disasters such as hurricanes, tornadoes, and floods. So here's where things really start to get secretive. FEMA was officially designated as the government's response team for all natural disasters. However, their real task was still coordinating national security in the case of a more global catastrophe. Over a third of its workforce, as well as the majority of the funding, was hidden within the country's classified black budget. Only 20 members of Congress knew of the agency's true purpose. Fast forward to today, it's still not exactly clear what kind of secret stuff FEMA is up to. What we do know is that they have been lurking in the Blue Ridge Mountains of Virginia since the 1950s at their secret hideout called Mount Weather. What really goes on there? Who knows? Your guess is as good as mine. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 2. A Bird in Flight Project Aquiline was a secret CIA program behind the development of a highly advanced stealth drone that looked like a bird in flight. It was an aerospace project kept out of the public eye. However, it may not be completely dead. Rumor has it that some of these drones could still be collecting dust somewhere at the secret Nevada base known as Area 51. According to unsealed CIA documents, the drones were intended for the collection of intelligence, and because of their design, 
they could secretly monitor unfriendly skies without suspicion. The project's engineers attempted to simulate characteristics of a bird to remain undetectable in enemy territory. Flight testing was set to begin in early 1971, and they proved to be quite successful. The drones were so challenging to observe in the sky, they even had to paint one of them neon orange so that the plane chasing it could see it more easily. However, the project would never reach its full potential. Ultimately, Aqualine was halted due to the rising costs to develop such advanced technology. Another $35 million in funding was still required, and because of this, the project was cancelled. The designs were made, a series of prototypes were developed in the 1960s, but none of them ever reached operational status. Number 1. The Sea Shadow The Sea Shadow was inspired by the F-117 stealth aircraft. The head of Lockheed Skunk Works, Ben Rich, wanted to design new military technology. This new project would include concepts from his work on aircrafts as well as submarines in order to create something completely original. The plan was to create a stealth vessel that could cruise over the surface of the water and be completely undetectable to sonar without having to submerge. At first, the Department of Defense was not all that interested in Rich's ideas, but eventually they were persuaded to try it out. DARPA made a contract to build the craft, which led to the extremely secret development of the Sea Shadow prototype, also known as the IX-529. It was assembled inside a submersible barge off the coast of Redwood City, California. The first test began in 1981. However, the Sea Shadow proved to be a massive disappointment. It created an unexpectedly large wake behind it that could easily be seen from the air, as well as on sonar. It was discovered that the problem was largely due to the propellers being installed backwards. Revisions were made and the vessel was finally completed in 1984. Throughout 85 and 86, the Sea Shadow underwent night trials. However, the stealth ship never made it past the testing phase. The public first set eyes on the vessel in 1993, and testing continued until 2006, when ultimately the whole idea was scrapped. Thanks for watching! What kind of crazy military projects do you think are going on now? Let me know your guesses in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! See you next time! Bye!